Welcome back, Breach fans. Brian Cook. Tonight we're playing my favorite modern deck, Lotus Breach, obviously. And the goal of this video is to beat Blood Moon. How are we doing that? We're adding in a fifth color. Can you believe that? Kind of wild, but it makes sense to me. So we're actually adding in Sylvan Scrying, a green two mana sorcery that searches your library for a land card. The idea here is that we're adding in consistency for finding Lotus Field, which is pretty good, but we're also adding in Beseju who endures an answer to those main deck chalices out of the Azorius control decks recently, or Atawara to beat Blood Moon finding or casting it or channeling it, I should say, off of our basic islands. In theory, Beseju also answers Blood Moon, but you'd have to have an untapped breeding pool and Beseju already in hand. Kind of a corner case scenario, but I like the flexibility that Sylvan Scrying will add to the deck, giving us more tutors to answer Blood Moon and, you know, random other shenanigans. If you missed the previous video, you can find that in the card above. In that video, we said goodbye to the card Wish, and instead we added in some much needed main deck spell pierces to beat Blood Moon. We added in an extra pack to negation. We played two Tome Scour. We're actually down to just one for this video because of the Sylvan Scrying. They I needed a fourth one, right? And it binds the Lotus Field, a job traditionally done by Wishclaw Talisman. This Wishclaw Talisman can now more consistently find Underworld Breach or even the Tome Scour. So we really only need the one, and that's what we're doing here today. Um, let's say you've never watched a Lotus Breach video. How does this deck work? The idea is that you get Lotus Field onto the table. You then cast a Dream Script, which if you think about it as a blue dark ritual, it's one mana to make three blue, right? Pretty darn good. And then we also have Twiddle from actual Alpha Beta to do the same thing. So we have eight blue dark rituals. Then you cast Underworld Breach, pretty sweet. Then you use Wishclaw Talisman or Escaping Otherworldly Gaze until you find your Tome Scour. Okay. And now from here, you've created a Soto Loop. Lotus Field has for three blue. Dream Script is one, which makes three blue. And then you cast Tome Scour twice. You put 10 cards to your graveyard, but you're only escaping nine on each loop which means you're accruing one card every loop. So you slowly deck yourself over and over while creating Storm until you hit the card Grape Shot. You cast a turn your opponent for a whole bunch. Grape Shot has some other, you know, added utility in this deck. It kills Dothy Voidwalkers and Lavinias and other things. It's a great win condition. But that's how the deck works. Uh, we, you know, have this wonderful white card in the sideboard, Leyline of Sanctity. The red black deck has been picking up too. So glad to have this alongside our green Sylvan Scrying and Ave Progenitor Ooze. Love it, love it, love it. I'm playing a second copy of Echoing Truth this week. Uh, just with the added Blood Moons and everything else in the metagame, I felt like I needed it. I haven't been in love with the Pything Needle on the board. I am keeping in one as a Wishclaw target for opposing copies of Besaju, but I almost cut it for this video, but I couldn't find anything else I actually wanted, so we're leaving the one in the deck. Whew. That's what I've got. If you have any thoughts, comments, suggestions, whatever you've got, put those down below. I, I'll do my best to respond, I promise, but... I'm just going to hop on in and play some lovely Magic the Gathering. I hope to see you in the first round. Don't go anywhere. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. You can also show your support by becoming a member of this channel. You get sweet perks such as badges, emotes, exclusive members only content, and access to our members discord section. As you increase the tiers, there are other rewards such as shop discounts, cyborg guides, early access to videos, and even free donation decks. Click the join button down below to find out more. We also have other ways you can support us such as theepicsroom.com shop or submitting a donation deck via the epicstorm.com slash donation decks. That's enough for now. Let's play some magic. Welcome to the first round. We are on the play with five color Lotus Breach. All right, our opponents reveal the Kahira, which traditionally means one of the Azorius decks. This hand's terrific. Yeah, man. One thing to note about this deck is that I think you will be fetching your Shocklands a lot more now that you have three of them. Because you want to consistently cast these cards, so I think fetching island just doesn't mean as much. We'll play the Flooded Strand and pass. We don't have to reveal what we're doing with that quite yet. Misty Rainforest, and they're passing. We'll fetch. Grab a Watery Grave. Don't need to pay the life. 
untap, take a draw, another copy Wish Claw. All right, Breeding Pool, yes. Play the Sylvan Scrying. I don't actually have a strong preference on which of these you're supposed to uh, play here, but I will say that Prismatic Ending is a card you should be concerned with. There's also uh, Leyline Binding. So right here, the opponent can play an untap lane and Leyline Binding for one. I guaranteed my Lotus Field through a counter spell. That's why I played it out. And that wouldn't cast them Leyline Binding. Let's play the Wish Claw. Lotus Field. In theory, you probably could have tried to force a win there. Um, I just would feel better if we waited. I, I also don't see the point in trying to force it. Like, if they tap out for Teferi here, we win anyway. Three blue. They just put Kahir to hand. Really, that's it? Okay, what a way to start. We will untap the Lotus Field. Let's activate the Wish Claw. We'll go grab Underworld Breach. Twiddle the Lotus Field. Yes, and I will tap it for black. So this will give me double packed backup in case I need it. Underworld Breach. All right, that just resolves. They're dead. Uh, we will escape. Yes. Activate the Wish Claw. We will go get Tome Scour. So this is a turn four with double pack backup. I probably could have gone for it on turn three. I don't know. Maybe I was just being a coward. Target ourselves again. It was really nice though. Uh, this game just like consistently finding the Lotus Field. If this is something that goes well, I might need to find myself a pair of really nice open scryings. I do not own a Japanese foil set from uh, Mirrodin, and I'd have to find those. From eight. I believe I can twiddle into double grape shot here. From 10, yes. Tap for red. Grape shot you. Okay, so Storm 11. Pew, pew, pew. The final group shot copy resolves. We'll target them again. And good game. Click boom. All right. So now we're going to the post board games. I like Ave in these matchups to dodge things like rest in peace. So I'm definitely interested in bringing these in. Somewhat interested in the pact as well. And you could probably swap the... Void Snare for Echoing Truth, because what they typically have is Chalice of the Void, and they play that on one, so having a two drop is a little bit better there. But we're at 65 at the moment, which is kind of high. What to board out? I think you can probably get rid of Otherworldly Gaze, which might be a little bit insane, but it's a control matchup. You don't really need card disadvantage, and the, like you're not trying to be super fast. So I think this is probably fine. Still one card over at the moment. I think I'm going to board out a Sylvan Scrying. That might be crazy, but I'm going to try it out. Game number two. Once again, they reveal the Kahira. Sure, we'll try this. Misty Rainforest. Another Twiddle. We'll pass. For Grin Triome. And they're just passing back. Okay. I will fetch and shock, grab this watery grave. I Like I said, from now on, we're probably fetching shocks more often because you don't want to end up being color screwed. We'll put the flooded strand to the graveyard. We draw another consider. That's fine. Another twiddle. I'm at 14. Pass the turn. Temple garden. Windswept heath. We find a stomping ground. So there's still four color, at least for the moment. Risen Reef. So they're actual elementals. Yeah, you can have a Risen Reef. I don't care about that. Cast Consider. I'm going to bin this. Underworld Breach. That's a good one. Another Consider. That finds Lotus Field. We'll keep this. Untap. Take a draw. I'll go to 12. Play Witch Claw. And that resolved. Good sign. Alpine Moon? Sure. We have the Ottawara already. And they do name Lotus Field. They have six cards in hand. We'll take a draw. 
Well, this was a good one. Hmm. I have a win here. I can activate Wishclaw for the Lotus Field. Lotus Field doesn't sacrifice lands because of the Alpine Moon. And then I can Echo and Treat the Alpine Moon. I think it's worth trying. Grab the Lotus Field. Play it. And now we'll attempt to bounce the Alpine Moon. They ephemerate the Risen Reef. Okay. Triggers. Bounce the Alpine Moon. And another ephemerate. What's happening with this Alpine Moon? So we're going to Solitude. Okay, so this gets another Risen Reef trigger. Okay, so the Alpine Moon has been bounced. And now we will Twiddle. Yes. Bounce. Yes. Make red. Twiddle. Yes. So I can tap this for... I'm just trying to play around everything if I can. So I can tap the Lotus Field for black. And that gives me nine mana. Minus four for Atawara on the Wishclaw would bring me to five. From there, I can play Wishclaw in a Breach floating one. That doesn't actually do anything for me. So instead, I'm just going to play Breach here. And that resolves. Okay. So now we can escape on the Lotus Field. Remove a Consider. Yes. Tap for black. Bounce the Wishclaw. Replay the Wishclaw. And now we can go get the Tome Scour, and it's a good game. Probably could have gotten Grape Shot there, too. Untap the Lotus Field. Yes. Scour myself. Remove the Ottawara. Spell Pierce. Consider. From 14. There's an Ave. But we don't really need that. We're just looking for Grape Shot at this point. Yes, from 15. 26 cards left. From 16. There's a Wish Claw. I'm just going to keep milling. Like, in theory, you could escape Wish Claw. You could double twiddle, escape Wish Claw, make black red with the Lotus Fields, Wish Claw for Grape Shot, but I don't know. Like, I'm just going to keep milling. It's like sort of free. Twiddle to untap Lotus Field. Come scour from 19. Grape shots on the bottom of her deck. Scour again from 20. We have to twiddle. Yes. Tap for blue. Scour. And there's the grape shot. And tap Lotus Field. Make some red mana and finally cast grape shot. And the opponent now concedes. We're 1 0. The green splash looked pretty good this match. Once again, let me know what you think in the comment section. I would greatly appreciate that. But hey, we got a W on the board. Let's get four more. Moxfield.com is the easiest way to build a Magic deck online. They support over 30 formats, including Legacy and many other Eternal formats. There are so many options to view decks the way that you want, from text view to individual cards, mana value, and even card price. There's also light mode and dark mode. My personal favorite feature is card tags. This way you can sort cards by function. Moxfield supports collection tracking, scryfall search, deckless feedback, and so much more. Follow me on Moxfield.com so you can stay updated on all of my decks. Round number two, we're on the play with five color Lotus Breach. Double Sylvan Scrying. We just need to find a land. Okay. I mean, it needs to be a fetch land to find the green sword, but, you know, I'd take any land. I think we just start with the Otherworldly Gaze. We're going to put all of these to the graveyard. Bobble. Pass the turn. And their upkeep, look at their top card. Ooh, that's a Tron land. Tron is a deck that plays main deck relics. Not ideal for us. That's a Chromatic Star. Can I please draw a fetch land? No. But I did hit another Worldly Gaze. They sacrificed the Chromatic Star for a green. Ancient Stirrings. Yep. I feel like this should be a favorable matchup, but my start was not as ideal as I'd hope. Forest. Wow, not a Tron land. Okay. We'll flash back another worldly gaze. 
Well, we hit the Lotus Field. We'll put the Lotus Field on top. They changed the UI on that card. Before, you used to click cards to the graveyard, click a prompt, and then click to um, put cards on top. And somebody must have complained because it's different now. Sacrifice our lands. So I can twiddle here. Underworld Breach. Yeah, we've got it. Untap. Tap for red. Underworld Breach. Untap. It's just a casual turn three victory. Target me. I have a feeling that this list is going to be very good at turn three with eight tutors for Lotus Field. Tap for blue. Scour ourselves. Let's pop out that graveyard. I guess we can do it like this. I mean, people like when I do it this way. I hate it personally. I think that this is the worst way you could do it. I'm just not a fan of the box on top of everything. Scour myself. And the opponent concedes. Good deal. Probably want the needle and the echoing truths. I don't think we'll be needing packs. And then you could probably shave like one spell pierce. If you wanted to, you could also bring in Eve to beat their graveyard hate. My issue with that is they are a deck that plays Ugin or just like cards that go over a, a number of slimes. So I'm not sure if I actually love that plan. Game number two, we have access to Lotus Field via scrying. We have a breach and another really gaze. What we're lacking here is a twiddle and the actual Tome Scholar, but this seems like a no brainer to me. Keep, 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 keep. They play a turn one map. There's the Lotus Field. Wow. Okay. So I can now use the Besage you to potentially destroy Tron, which is interesting. They play a forest. Okay, so they're not going to have turn three Tron this game. I've been told that if you don't open up Tron or a way to get turn three Tron, you're supposed to just mulligan. This opponent doesn't believe in that. All right, let's cast the other really gaze. We will keep the twiddle. Okay, untap. Play the flooded strain and pass. Relic of Progenitus. Hmm. Not sure how I want to go about this. We also played a mine. They must have clicked on the wrong Tron piece. I'm going to fetch. Grab Steam Vents, I guess. I think I'm just going to escape the otherworldly gaze we can remove these actually i'll keep these put on top put on top so if i i think i need to besage you in my main phase so hear me out if i besage you the relic they sacrifice it they remove my graveyard cool and then i can sacrifice the bobble just trying to make escape fuel and then i can draw the other card that makes sense to me. Let's get rid of this relic. Sage you coming in handy here. Sure, I'll remove a fetch land. And they just allow the relic to be destroyed. Okay. We got their top card. It's another mine. Cool. I want to draw this other really gaze on top of the deck. So that's why I'm doing it now. I could have waited till my end step to see if they cracked the map or not. But if they play chicken, I don't get to get the card on their turn. And it's not like they have Tron anyway. Another relic. That's a little annoying. Uh, Yeah, we'll let that happen. Dramatic Sphere. Sure. They add a green and they play a map. Okay, so I'm not really sure what the plan is now. Another Dreams Grip. They're one mana off of Tron, so I feel like I'm supposed to try to go for it here. Play Breach. Let's see if they bite on the Relic. They do not. Play Lotus Field holding priority. Let's untap the Lotus Field. I'm holding priority so that way the sacrifice trigger doesn't happen. And, ooh, they have Nature's Claim. Wow. All right. That was not ideal. We are forced to pass. I get. I mean, I guess I could get Sylvan's Crying. Or I could cast Sylvan's Crying. Go get Atawara. 
Maybe I should have the packs in the deck instead of the spell pierces. I'm not sure. We only have two copies of Underworld Breach left. And now they've assembled Tron. Aren't liberated with a mana open for Relic. Remove the Ottawara, I guess. I think we've lost this one. Yeah, I'm good to pack it up. Let's go to game three. Hmm. I'm going to try the packs. Maybe that's wrong. Like, we know that they have multiple relics. And you can, in theory, spell pierce a relic. I'm just not sure if spell pierce is what we want to be doing. And this hand seems great. One of mulligans to six. Play a flooded strand and pass. Hers is mine. Oh, I didn't play the bobble. Ah, darn. They play map. Sure. Yep, I messed this up. I was supposed to play the bobble. Other really gaze. We find Lotus Field. We'll put that one on top. Yes. Play bobble. I could scrying for Besaju here. I'm going to bobble myself for information. And I want the twiddle. Okay, definitely not going to do that now. We hit the Dream's Grip. We have Tron Peace, and this looks like our opportunity to go for it. Let's flash back the Otherworldly Gaze. We will mill all of these. One with five cards in hand. Hello, Besaju. Play the Lotus Field, sacrifice the two lands. Dream Script to untap Lotus Field. Tap for blue. Underworld Breach. Untap Lotus Field. Okay, let's untap Lotus Field again. Remove a bobble this time. Let's tap Lotus Field for black. Play a Wish Claw Talisman. Activate the Claw. Grab the Tome Scour. Target ourselves. Target ourselves again. If our opponent's still waiting for something at this point, they're likely going to get me, but I can't think of why they wouldn't have interacted yet. And there's the Grape Shot. Untap Lotus Field. Storm is eight. We have nine cards in Graveyard. I think I'm supposed to keep scouring for now. Target myself. Remove Bobble. Void Snare. Needle, I guess. And our opponent concedes. We got the victory. We are now 2-0 with five color Lotus Breach. I love it. So far, the Scryings have seen good. There's been a few points where we drew well and didn't need them. But we've had tremendous consistency so far in these the small sample size at finding Lotus. And that's really what matters here. So uh, thrilled to see how the rest of this pans out. Looking to make playing your favorite combo deck much easier? Look no further than the Epic Storm Mini Token Combo Pack, which is available at theepicstorm.com slash shop for $14.99. This combo token pack comes with 84 double-sided tokens. That includes our classic Storm and Mana tokens as well as fan favorites such as Goblins, Squirrels, and Slime Time Live. But that's not all. We've expanded this token pack to cover a variety of formats with new tokens. Stop on by the epicstorm.com slash shop and make an easy decision to elevate your combo game. Round three, we're on the play. So we have Lotus Field, we have Twiddles. I mean, this hand seems good to me. We just have to find Underworld Breach and some way to mill ourselves. Play the Flooded Strand and pass. Mountain. Into Swiss Spear. I'm not going to fetch yet. This Besaju could be used to kill an Eidolon if I can draw another land here. No dice. Now I'm forced to play out the Besaju. Pass. Alright, now I'm likely supposed to fetch for Watery Grave in case I draw a Wish Claw. They play Wooded Foothills. Blood Crypt. They're bumping. I think I'm just going to grab a basic here. Spell Pierce the Bump. The Lava Spike, and then they attack for three. I'll go to 12. We could draw another Twiddle. Play Lotus Field. Pass the turn. You could Twiddle the Lotus Field so that we could hold up Spell Pierce. I don't think that's really worth the resources. They have four cards in hand. I should just be dead here. They have a Bolt. 
I'm at nine. One more spell will do it. Well, that'll do, Pig. That'll do. So they turn three'd me. And we would have drawn a land anyway. Okay. Definitely interested in suspend. Leyline of Sanctity. Maybe even these Echoing Truths as well. Let's get rid of the Pact of Negations. You can probably board out Spell Pierce. That's 64 cards. Am I crazy for thinking about boarding out Consider here? It's either Consider or Mishra's Bobble, I think. Likely the Considers. Game 2, we're on the play versus Burn. Okay, we will keep. We're a mill spell away. Besaidu also doubles as an answer to Eidolon. Kind of nice. When it plays Inspiring Vantage into Goblin Guide. They attack. We pick up a Misty Rainforest. We draw another land. We'll play out the Misty and pass. Gives us a little bit of sculpting with the Goblin Guide if we don't want the top card of our deck. They attack. It's another Underworld Breach, so I'm definitely going to fetch that away now. Wooded Foothills. Blood Crypt. They are bumping. That's a Lava Spike. I'm at 10. I'm pretty close to dead already. So unless I draw incredibly well here, I'm probably not going to win the game. They still have four cards in hand, too. Draw. So you're saying there's a chance. I just don't... I Like, I don't have anything in my graveyard. We could get one escape off. I'm going to play this team that's tapped. Uh, so, like, we just don't have anything to fuel these Underworld Breaches. Even with the Lotus Field sacrificing two lands, there's just not enough going on. My only hope here is that our opponent misses their third land drop, attacks for two, and then plays two more one mana three damage spells. I go to one, and then I get to end step otherworldly gaze into a win. Or if they don't have lethal and they just slam an idol on and we're sitting on the Besaidu. The opponent plays land number three and goes to combat with four cards in hand. Trigger the Goblin Guide. Another land. Jeez. Yeah, I mean, if they have it, they have it. I go to seven. So Boros Charm plus three damage spell does it. Interesting. They're just passing. We'll play the other really Gaze. We'll mill all of these. Now or never. They're just going to kill me in my upkeep. All right. Lotus Field. Untap the Lotus Field. Tap for blue. Underworld Breach. That resolved. Okay. We will escape this otherworldly gaze. I have to get pretty lucky here. These don't do it. We don't have enough resources for the Wish Claw. Escape the otherworldly gaze. Each one of these is minus one card. Escape the Dream's Grip on the Lotus Field. All right, let's try it again. Come on, please, Tome Scour. No dice. We have fizzled. Okay, we are now two and one. This was a little bit of a disappointing showing, but sometimes you do just lose. Yeah, we didn't. We weren't going to hit it either. All right, round four coming up. If you're still watching, make sure to give this video a like, comment, and subscribe. While you're near the description, here's a reminder to use our affiliate links if you're going to make a purchase from Amazon, Card Hoarder, or TCG Player. Just above those affiliate links, you'll find our social channels. Make sure to join those to connect with us. Match number four, we're on the play. Sure. Uh, like, this hand's not amazing. I think it's probably fine enough. Play out the steam vents, pass the turn. Not playing the Misty Rainforest out because I want the option to later search up black or green. And if I consider into one, I don't want to guess the wrong color. Which was Bobble. They target themselves. Steam vents. And to consider. They milled the island, sure. Consider. We'll mill that. We drew a bobble. They draw off their Mishra's bobble. We'll draw for turn. We find Sylvan scrying. Ouch. Scrying. We'll go get the Lotus Field. Bobble. We'll get their top card. So they're drawing a Steam Vents for turn. We'll pass. 
We're an underworld breach away at this point. We get the draw, and it's another worldly gaze. So they do not play the steam events that they drew for turn. In my upkeep, I will cast this other worldly gaze. They play consider in response. Put the lotus field to the graveyard. Keep this on top. And I am not going to play out the lotus field. I don't really see a point. If our opponent tries to slam a blood moon here, I don't want to lose all my lands. And I have a spell pierce up anyway. They play the vents. And they're just passing. Cowards, consider. We can mill the void snare. All right, so we find Besage you. There we go. Blue, blue. Play Lotus Field. Sacrifice, sacrifice. Dream Scrip. Attempt to spell pierce. Let's see if they spell pierce back. Grip. Okay, that resolved. Dream Scrip again. Make some red mana. Underworld Breach. We could even pay for a spell pierce at this point. All right, it would appear that our opponent's dead. From six. Tap for triple blue. Play the scour. Good game. And we already hit the grape shot. Untap Lotus Field. Yes, tap for red. And now we can just double grape shot them. Spell Pierce stopped our opponent from ever even thinking about playing the Blood Moon. And we sort of just got to do our thing. Grape shot. You'll love to see it. Click, click, boom. That is game number one. We are now headed to the post board games. Versus blue, red, is it Merc Tide? Whatever you'd like to call it. Likely wants some number of Ave and the Echoing Truths. Probably the packs. 67 cards. It's a lot. You used to have four street rate that were just like auto board outs, and now you don't. So it makes sideboarding a lot more difficult. I think I'm actually only going to board in one Echoing Truth. I feel like three bounce spells versus this deck is a lot. I got the Bobbles, I guess. It's 62. And like two other Whirly Gaze. Part of me wonders if I should just do one Eve. It's it, So there's like a natural friction between the Pact and Negation and the Eve plan. Like Triple Eve is really for non-blue decks, I feel like. I mean, it's still really good against decks like Is It Merc Tide. It's just, do you want to lean on a bunch of packs or do you want to lead on the Eve? I'm going to try this out. Really good hand. Wonder if this sh Consider should be a Bobble, though. Like, maybe I was supposed to board out the Considers and leave the Bobbles so that way I could spell Pierce and Consider. Okay, find a Steam Vents. That's a turn one Dragon's Rage Channeler. Mishra's Bobble. They surveil a Murktide Regent, no fear. They target me with the Bobble, so they'll know my draw step here. They draw, we draw. Looted Delta, play that out. I'm just going to consider now. They can't spell Pierce it or anything else. We'll mill that. Another Twiddle. Fire Bluff Canal. They're one card away from Delirium. They play Consider. That's instant. That does give them Delirium here. They kept a card on top. Sure. Now they have a pair of Angry Channelers. And I'm taking three going down to 16. Next turn they have six damage coming in and I'll be at 10. Draw for turn. A third Twiddle. Okay. We're going to play the Wish Claw here and next turn try to win the game. Play the Claw. I think my best draw next turn would likely be something like Pact Negation. Maybe Underworld Breach. They have land three. They swing. I go to seven. And they're passing with four cards in hand. We drew another land. Not ideal. Lotus Field. Sacrifice the two lands. Whittle. They're fetching. Spell Pierce. I don't know why I'm letting these the Surveil Triggers resolve. Attempt to untap my Lotus Field again. They have three in hand. Okay. So they stop my win attempt this turn. 
So they can attack and put me to one, which would shut off my fetch lands on the following turn. They kept a card on top of their surveil triggers too, so I could just be dead here. And that is in fact lethal. Being on the play them got them the win here, but we're going to be on the play for game three. That's pretty good. Uh, and I think I do want these baubles instead of the considers. I'm just going to take the Ave out of the deck too. Rather, would rather have one random consider than an Ave, I think. Submit. Game three. We're on the play. Yeah, and seems great. About the bobble. Let's look at my top card. Watery Grave. Let's put that onto the battlefield. And then other really gaze. We don't need grape shot. And I kind of like both of these. Pass the turn. Draw off the bobble. Steam vents. They're at 18. That's a channeler. They play a bobble. They surveil a consider. They look at my top card. So they'll know about the spell peers. Another bobble surveilling a polluted delta away. And now they look at their own top card, sure. Auto yield to these. They're back at six cards in hand. We'll play out the Ottawara. And I believe I'm supposed to play the Wish Claw here. Pass the turn. Land. They attack for one, we'll go to 16. So they are holding up counter spells. Interesting. So I could upkeep otherworldly gaze, or I can take a random draw. I think I want the random draw because this could be a combo piece if I find breach but don't get access to scour. Another wish claw. I think we play this out. If I get punished by blood moon, it's going to suck, but I don't know. Sure. That happens. Play the lotus field. Please don't have it. Please do not have it. This game, the Sylvan Scrying, has actually been uh, kind of a clunker. This is the first game where I feel like it's actually just been worse than Street Wraith. Opponent attacks for one. Still six cards in hand. This gives me the impression that they're just going to pass the turn, because if they had a Blood Moon, they would have played it pre-combat for the Surveil trigger. And now we are definitely going for it here. Untap Lotus Field. Yes. That for red underworld breach my opponent knows that i have spell pierce okay so the card that i would be worried about is fluster storm and i'm not sure if there's a whole lot that i can do to beat that all right let's activate the wish claw scour myself all right so they're just dead then i mean i suppose they could have like a force of negation but most lists don't play that all right, so Tome Scour happens. And this should just be a good game. Firm is six. Quiddle targeting the Lotus Field. Yes. Scour, remove Bobble, Scalding Tarn. Otherworldly Gaze. Firm is eight. I have 11 cards in Graveyard, so Twiddle and a Double Grape Shot is nine. That should do it. Untap. Tap for red. Grape shot target you. Looking. Some people just like to see every copy of grape shot resolve. I am some people. Target them again. The lone tone scour in the graveyard. And we win the match. We just beat the most popular deck in modern. I won't say the best deck. It is on top of MTG Goldfish, but some people get really touchy about calling decks the best deck. It is the deck with the highest density in the metagame. Whatever. Best deck. Suck it up. All right. We are now going to round number five. Let's see if we can get that W. With Card Order, renting your favorite combo deck has never been easier. There isn't a more affordable solution for Magic Online. Want to play the deck in this video? Check out the pink comment below to easily rent the deck from Card Order. Did you know you can rent the Epic Storm from Card Order for as little as seven tickets a week? We've made it simple to do so by including a button to rent the entire deck at theepicstorm.com slash decklist. The fifth and final match, we're on the draw. We have Access to Lotus Field, access to Breach, we have a Twiddle, an Untapper, this hand seems bananas, we are keeping. 
misty rainforest and they're just passing okay i love the extra fetch land here make sure that i have all the colors i could possibly want let's bobble myself don't really need another one of those so i'm just going to fetch right away the opponent's fetching they pick up a triome i'm going to otherworldly gaze now to ensure that this resolves the breeding pool's a little bit awkward because I have to keep it if I want to cast the scrying. Okay, we're forced to keep the land. So now our hand is a four lander, which is less desirable. The bobble trigger happens. All of the storm giants. And they're choosing to leave up blue blue. Land number five. Come on, deck. I need a brainstorm. Someone passed me a brainstorm from Legacy already. Mystic Gate. Let's flash back another copy of Otherworldly Gaze on their end step. Okay. Definitely going to keep the Underworld Breach here. Draw the Breach. Let's attempt a Sylvan Scrying. If they counter it, oh well. It resolves. Play out the Lotus Field. Pass. Three mana, they draw two with an Archmage's Charm. They play Basic Island. Jace the Mind Sculptor. The absolute disrespect here. Do they have a Force of Negation? They better. I believe they left the card on top. Great, another land. Uh, we do have one land to thin out here. We should just go pull that out. It's also another card in the graveyard for Underworld Breach. Let's see if they force the Twiddle. They do not. Play Breach. Okay. Just has nothing. Play Wish Claw Talisman. Activate it. Go pick up Tome Scour. Twiddle targeting the Lotus Field again, just for safe measure. Yes. Triple Blue. Okay. I can't believe they just tapped out with nothing in hand. From seven. And there's the grape shot. Put on the lotus field. Yes. Double grape shot will do. From 10, I'll let them. Even if they have something like a solitude, we can always pack the negation double solitude as well. One solitude won't even do the trick. They would need a pair of them. So now we're going to game number two. Still can't quite believe what just happened there. Word out the Void Snare. Let's bring back in Echoing Truth. I talked about this change earlier with regarding Chalice of the Void. Bring in the packs. Take out Considers. I'm going to try Double Eve. I really like Eve against these like larger control decks. And having Mishra's Bobble also helps them out a little bit. I know that it's a Nambo with Pact. And actually, let's try minus one Sylvan for a third Eve. Game number two, we've opened up a, an actual five lander. We're going to mulligan this. We can't afford to keep that. Uh, this seems fantastic. Keep them. We'll get rid of the steam vents. Let's go. Blooded strand. Land number three, we'll play out the bobble. Target ourselves. Don't want that. We'll fetch. Grab breeding pool. Yes, I'd like to pay two. So I'm paying two in case I draw another really gaze here. And if I don't, our life total typically doesn't matter in this matchup anyway. There's also spell pierce in our deck. There's a number of reasons to pay the life. Draw the, the bobble. We drew a land. Womp womp. They play a flooded strand. Another twiddle. I don't really see the need to jam my Sylvan Scrying into their counter spell here, so I'm just going to pass. They play land three. Center our library a little bit. Go grab that watery grave. Another twiddle. Sure. They fetch. They now have all five colors for their leyline binding. Hallowed fountain. They paid the life, so they're at 16. We'll fetch with the misty. Might as well pull another land out. Okay. Ah, oh, geez, another land. Okay, so between the two fetches, one in play, one in my hand, we will be able to search out the last two fetchables. They draw two with an Archmage's Charm. Let's go grab that island. 
Mishra's bobble. Play it. Let's look at the top. Definitely do not want that tome scour. I'll fetch. Pass the turn. Memory Deluge. Tiny near playable, now in modern. Draw off the Mishra's bobble. A hey, we hit the Lotus Field. Beautiful. My best draw for turn would now be Ave Progenitor. We have three of them in the deck. They're fetching with the Tarn. Chalice on one. That's obnoxious. So I think my game plan has changed. I'm going to show them Lotus Field and then play the Scrying. Oh, I even drew the Ave. That's wild. Okay, so... Float blue blue. Play Lotus Field. Sylvan Scrying. They know that I have Lotus Field. So do they care about this? And now I can just get the Besage you. Unfortunately, I can't use it this turn, so I have to pass. They pick up another Hollowed Fountain. Misty Rainforest, they have six cards in hand. The Fairy Time Raveler, sure thing. It's not like I have any counter spells in hand anyway. They minus the draw card with the Teferi. This Flooded Strand doesn't actually get anything. I want to leave the red untapped. Discard this Besage you to blow up the Chalice. This is actually the exact reason I put the card in the deck, and it looks so good here. Really happy with how this played out. Like, that was textbook what I asked for, and it just worked. Dream's Grip on the Lotus Field. That happens. Let's try another one. Tap for green this time. Let's tap your Triome. Trying to set up the Ave. Storm is four. Dream's Grip. Slime time live. Buster Storm that. The ooze is here. They have six in hand. What are the odds they left in a sweeper for some slime? Tie ball game, 13-13. They have seven in hand. They plus the Teferi. Don't play with my heart. You're going to sweep her on my turn? Swing out at you. And they did have a sweeper. Wow, so they're in the know about Ave. Okay, so that means for game three, we should probably uh, not keep it in. Okay, pass the turn. They have five in hand. They have to have a counter spell. Blue, red, breach. Yeah, okay. I'm just going to go to game three. They got me. Supreme verdict too strong. We'll take the aves out. Bring the considers back in. Maybe I want the scryings on the play. Try splitting the Considers and the other Worldly Gazes. I mean, you don't really want to go down on cards in this matchup. I think I'm actually going to try this out. The third game in the final league, or the final match of this league. This is obviously a keep. Let's go. Fluted Delta. We're just going to search up the Steam Vents. Yes. Other Worldly Gaze. Mill that. I think I actually want both of these, which might be a little bit crazy. Pass the turn. Flooded Strand. Ouch. Go to 15. Wishclaw Talisman. They use their Flooded Strand. This is a pretty juicy um, Leyline Binding target. They play a Mystic Gate. Rest in peace. That's annoying. I think I'm going to be considering in my upkeep now. Put that to the graveyard. And I drew another one. Okay. This is brutal. Pass the turn. Our opponent plays a flooded strain and passes the turn. We'll take a draw. Mishra's Bobble. Archmage's Charm. Suppose we can play out the Lotus Field. Pass. Hallowed Fountain. They cycle our Shark Typhoon for one. I drew another Pact off the Bobble. We're just so far away from being able to win this game right now. Oh no. Ashiok Dream Render. It's brutal. Just shut off my Wish Claw. Not looking good for the home team. They milled three lands and a Twiddle. Ah. 
Yes, we play this. Pass. It's worth noting that I boarded out the Ave Progenitor ooze, so if they hit Grape Shot with the Ashiok, I just lose. Their list seems to uh, not enjoy combo. I think that's one way of saying it. And my Pact of Negations just got shut off as well. We were all rolled up to win on turn four, but uh, the rest in peace got me. So now we're likely going to finish this League 3 and 2. Sure. Have to pass. They use their Misty Rainforest. They return their Spreading Seas to their hand, which is just another way of creating card advantage for them. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to call it here. I've lost the game. I'm not going to sit here for another 20 minutes while they slowly kill me. Bummer. We went 3-2, and two, but honestly, I love the changes. I thought that the Besaju uh, was a big improvement. Sylvan Scrying seemed great. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm open to being wrong. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Should we move away from Ave if it doesn't work with Pax? Do you have better solutions? Maybe we play one Ave. If you have better ideas, let me know. I'm always looking to improve this deck, but I do think that the Sylvan Scrying Besaju package, also Adawara, all this stuff was great. Um, Thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. Have a great day and keep storming. Hey, Brand Cook here. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe, but also follow the social media channels down below. If you want to support this content directly, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com shop. And if you need a little bit of assistance with the Epic Storm to get to that next level, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com tutoring. Don't worry, there's more great content coming right up.